how to deal with pain, how to deal with loss, how to deal with obstacles, how to deal with heartbreak, betrayal, how to deal with anything that kind of shifts your life off track and has you, you know, wondering, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me right now, right? That's, you know, that happens a lot. And you want to know what some of your guys' biggest problem is? Maybe one, maybe you, maybe your biggest problem? You don't have a proper relationship with pain. You're afraid to take an L. You don't know how to take a L, you know. So what is take a L? It's just a slang for taking a loss, right? So so many people are afraid of getting hurt, afraid of pain, afraid of frustration and setbacks that they just stay well inside of their comfort zone and they don't expose themselves to things that, you know, in ways could potentially hurt them. But long term, being open to the world which comes with the possibility of pain is some of the most rewarding things that you can do. And if you live your life closed off because you're trying to avoid pain, you're just going to experience a different type, right? See, that's the myth that you can avoid pain. You're going to get it one way or another. So you could get pain in the process of becoming a better you and exposing yourself to opportunities, people, situations that could end up well, but could also go south. But you're at least on a growth curve doing it that way. And then there's a different type of pain where you're not doing what you want to do. You're settling. This is why people settle. The number one reason why people settle is because they're trying desperately to avoid pain. So what happens when you settle? You feel a whole different type of pain, but instead of it coming kind of sharp and hard, like it does when you experience a setback, when you're challenging yourself, this type of pain just like chips away at you slowly, slowly, slowly. And this is often a way worse type of pain, right? So there's something called Chinese water torture. And instead of punching you in the face, beating you up, torturing you in the traditional sense, they take one little drop of water and just drop it on your head. Doesn't seem that bad at first. Oh, you're dropping water on my head. Who cares? But then they drop another drop, another drop. Another drop, and then they just keep doing it. So the first three, four, five, six drops, it's like, okay, whatever. But by drop number 3,546, like you want to, you're going insane at that point, right? So this is how many people live their life. They avoid the big, quote unquote, traumatic pain that they think they'll face if they shake their life up, but then you get that slow, pain. And this is why often the average person in society is very insane. Kind of the way that you live your life, letting it slowly deteriorate is really quite ludicrous that you would waste your life doing that. Yet the majority of us do it. Why? Because we'd rather deteriorate slowly than to have that rapid change that often comes through pain right? But then sometimes it does happen where people do want to shake it up and they're like, oh, what am I doing with my life? That's where you get a midlife crisis, right? So either way, it's going to rear its head around and you have to learn how to deal with pain, how to take a L if you really want to be successful in life. And I often talk about the power of negative emotions, right? So we always want to feel good. We always want to feel like we're in this perfect setting where everything is going well. But often the negative can teach you much more than the positive. Often what you're dissatisfied with points you in the direction of what you should be doing. If you're in pain, that pain is telling you that something is wrong. So instead of trying to shove it down, 
Instead, it's better to let those feelings wash over you. Like what is causing you pain? What traumatic experience happened? Like if you don't process, if you don't process that and really understand what's leading you there, you're just putting yourself in the position for it to happen all over again. So oftentimes when life deals you a major blow, it's a perfect opportunity for you to really sit in that state so you can see what's going on, so you can actually avoid that from happening. Instead of people who kind of have this monotonous loop where they keep experiencing the same pain, and then one of the most frustrating things is where you keep making the same mistake. You know what I mean? Like When you make the same screw up over and over and over again, It makes you feel worse each time because you're like, how can I not figure out how how to direct my own life? Why do I keep making the same mistake that I know I don't want to make, but I keep making it right? Why do why do people do that? Because you never want to, you know, descend into hell a little bit into that pain to really discover the root behind those mistakes you keep making because it doesn't feel good in the short term. But some of the best moments of your life can come from when life shakes you into chaos to where you have to deal with it, to where you can really marinate in it and decide who you're going to be. Sometimes you need to be broken all the way down so you can rebuild yourself. Sometimes everything needs to be burned to the ground so you can reconstruct a new life. Sometimes you carry too much emotional weight and baggage from that slow deterioration that you have to let it crumble before you're able to come out new again. See, people want, everyone talks about wanting to change their life, but they're too held on to their baggage because that baggage, while not ideal, can help you rationalize away your pain, can help you ignore it for a little bit. But again, it's that slow Chinese water torture thing again. So the art of becoming successful is really the art of learning how to take a loss. And it's not just that you walk around feeling like you're invincible, but it's like, no, like if you take an L, if you have a setback in your path, in your life, be like, damn, all right, this shit, it doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel good right now. What can I learn from it? You know, one of my favorite quotes is uh, from a writer named Nassim Taleb, and he says, My characterization of a loser is someone who doesn't learn from their mistakes. Okay, so you're not a loser for making a mistake. You're not a loser for being in pain, but you're a loser if you try to rationalize it away without analyzing it. And he goes on to say in the quote that you should look at mistakes. You should look at pain as a piece of very valuable and useful information, right? When you touch a hot stove, you get burned. And that teaches you not to touch hot stoves again. You learn those lessons right away. When you experience acute pain like that, you don't need to touch the stove twice to figure out that that shit's going to burn you, right? So instead of letting life chip away at you slowly, rip off the Band-Aid, feel that pain, take your L, analyze and come back 10 times stronger. That's how you become successful.